lucky people on the couch right now. We've got the World Vision Sanitarium Youth Ambassadors, Jojo and Oliver, who are going to Papua New Guinea very soon with World Vision. Mm -hmm. yep. That is so exciting. <laughs> how, did, how did this happen for you guys? Because you had to apply to get the chance to go on the trip, didn't you? Yeah, so we had um, we had to send in a video and uh, kind of an essay thing. Mm -hmm. And we sent that in and then we got shortlisted to the top ten. Ooh. Went to Auckland for an assessment day, which is pretty full on, eh? Yeah. And yeah, then yes. from there we went, um, then we got a phone call saying that we'd made it to the top four. So yes. it, so exciting. That was awesome. How did you react, Jojo, when you got the call saying um, you were going to Papua New Guinea? Um, my mum was driving at the time <laughs> and I think she was, she was more excited than I was, so I kind of had to grab the wheel and make sure we didn't actually crash oh. so I could actually go. But I was pretty excited. It's a pretty crazy opportunity. So, And you get to do heaps of really, really amazing things while you get to go on this trip. We're going to take a look at somebody else's trip that's already been just to see what, you know, the people at home can see what's in store for you guys. Yeah. So check this out. Donkey is really smiley. She's got a bit of a cheeky smile. Yep, we bonded. It was Donkey's dad that really made everything sort of like click for me. Millet's all they've got, pretty much. The next day, World Vision took us to see an irrigated garden. Heaps of gardens like this will be planted with money from this year's 40-hour famine. Now we've got Solar panels power a drip irrigation system which waters crops all year round. They have no real need for the rainy season in this garden. Look how many vegetables they've got and this is just a year's yeah. work. You look at these kids and I kind of see like Don Cam, what a kid. This could be them in like a year's time. This is what can happen. such an incredible trip. It would be kind of life-changing and Oliver and Jojo, you guys get to go over there and represent the youth with Ford World Vision and Sanitarium. Now Jojo, I've got to ask you, what made you want to do this trip? So I think um, everyone in the um, World Vision Youth Ambassador team has different stories but for me it was just seeing the need and wanting to make a difference and yeah, that was my kind of story. Aww, yeah, mine's, what about you? mine's pretty much the same thing, yeah. Um, I suppose you get involved in 40-hour feminine and yeah. you, know, you kind of grow from there and get your passion for it. And what are you expecting when you get there? We don't really know. <laughs> no. Like, we're, like we're, we're going with an open mind, so we don't want to have any like preempted thoughts yeah, about what we, we might expect. So We kind yeah. of want to go as like a sponge and just take in all the experience and just meet the people and kind of just em embrace ourselves yeah. in the culture. Because you've had friends that have done these, uh, these trips before. Have they given you any tips on how to make it easier for yourself when you're over there? Easier, probably not easier, but um, <laughs> yeah, what I said before is just to embrace it all. Like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, so you know, really get in everything and meet as many people as you can and take away as much as you can. And because you're going over to a place that doesn't have a, a lot of luxury, mm. do you get yeah. to take any luxury items with you? Not at all. Um, what do you get no. to take with you? Well, we were told to pick, pick three pairs, three light outfits and we're going to wash them in a river. <laughs> Um, we kind of didn't expect what we've been told in the last two days, but it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so. and we yeah got a list of about five different things, and the most important thing was like medication and yeah. shots. So oh goodness, yeah, well, clothes don't really take priority. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you got to you got to fit in over there. Well, good luck exactly. your trip over to Papua New Guinea. If people want to keep up with how your trip and stuff's going, how can they keep up with it? So when we come back, we'll totally be part of the campaign for the forty-hour famine. Awesome. Facebook. Um, yeah. Twitter, anything yeah. like that, would totally come and into schools and talk about the 40 hour famine, so you're totally here from us. Yeah, and there's also updates on the World Vision 40 hour famine Facebook page, yeah, so they can uh, like that. Yes, yeah, so so. you can be right on in there with us. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Good luck for your trip over awesome. to Papua New Guinea. We're going to get into some boy band action now, though. Here's the wanted.